This movie is about protecting your workbook. We're going to look at the two opposite ends of the spectrum of protecting your workbook, where at one end, you can mark your workbook as final to discourage somebody from editing your workbook. It won't prevent them from editing your workbook. And at the other end, you can make it so somebody cannot even open up your workbook because you've encrypted it with a password, and if they don't have that password, they can't access your workbook at all. We are in Excel on Book 1, Sheet 1 of a new workbook. We're going to take a look at the permissions area, and to get back there to the Backstage Info area, press Alt-F. This is the permission settings. Currently, it says anyone can open, copy, and change any part of this workbook. I'm going to left-click, protect the workbook, and our first option is to mark as final, let the readers know the workbook is final, and make it read-only. That's the one we want to choose. Left click mark as final. I'll get a message that says this workbook will be marked as final and then saved. Okay, that's what I want to do. I'll save it. And now I get another message that says this document has been marked as final to indicate that editing is complete and that this is the final version of the document. It then tells you some other information that I'll show you instead of reading it. Select OK. Now the permissions has been updated for this workbook. This workbook has been marked as final to discourage editing. We are in the backstage area, so we're getting this indicator here, but we also get it when we go back into the workbook at the top where it says marked as final and author has marked this workbook as final to discourage editing. That's all this does is hopefully discourage somebody from editing your workbook because it doesn't prevent them from editing your workbook because right next to this message, there's a button that says, Edit Anyway. And when you left-click that button, it is now no longer in read-only mode, and I can do anything I want to in the workbook. Alt-F to get back to the permission settings. Remark it as final. And nobody's the wiser, necessarily. Inside the workbook, it still says it's marked as final. An author has marked this workbook as final to discourage editing. You can see my little message high in A1 where I edited the workbook anyway. So this is a good tool. It has limited use. If you want to let somebody know that you've finalized the version of your document and you want to mark it as such, this tool will serve that purpose. It doesn't protect your workbook per se, however. The next setting is the other end of the extreme. We'll press Alt-F to get back to the permissions area again. Left-click Protect Workbook. And now I want the second option. Encrypt with password. Require a password to open this workbook. I'll left-click that option. I'll have to input a password. There's a warning below the field where I'm defining the password. It says caution if you lose or forget the password, it cannot be recovered. It is advisable to keep a list of passwords and their corresponding document names in a safe place. Remember that passwords are case sensitive. I try to heed that warning. I never had to recover a password to open up a document, but it is in no uncertain terms telling me that if I don't have the password, I can't recover it. I'll never be able to open up this document again. I'll left click OK. I'll have to repeat the password, which is a good idea. That way you can be sure you entered the same thing twice. Left click OK. And now the permissions has been updated to say a password is required to open this workbook. To see the effect of this, I'm going to close this workbook so that we can then try to reopen it and see the message that we get. I'll left click to close the entire application, save the changes, left click to open up Excel, Alt F R for recent, open the workbook that we just encrypted with the password. I get the message that book one is protected and it's asking me for a password. Don't get confused about the fact that I have a workbook open that is called book one. That's the default workbook. This is a workbook that we also called Book One. It's a different workbook, however. It's the one we encrypted with the password. I'll put the password in there, left click OK, 
and now we gain access to the workbook, which is, like I said, also named Book 1. So those are two workbook-level permission settings. On the one hand, we can mark our workbook as final, which doesn't prevent anybody from altering the workbook, and in that respect, it's not really protection per se. On the other hand, we can encrypt the workbook with a password, and that offers actually comprehensive protection because nobody can gain access to your workbook if they don't have that password. They can, however, alter your workbook in any way once they gain access to it. And in a subsequent movie, we're going to go over some other protection settings that restrict people's ability to alter your workbook once they get inside of it.